Hello, friends, and welcome back to King's Quest VI. We are still here, and we are still alive, but for how long? Can we truly accomplish what we've set to do? To revive the dead? And to get out safely ourselves? Well, let's just ask Jeff if he can help us out. Excuse me. I'd like an audience, please. The shrouded guards escort Alexander to the throne of the Lord of the Dead. Whoa, okay. Going straight to the big cheese, Why huh? Why have you entered my Oh, place, he looks cool. Still wearing your flesh. If you are so anxious for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. But since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. Well, I appreciate the offer, but uh, I'm on a mission, an adventure. Can't you relate to that? Isn't that cool? I seek a boon, my lord. Why should death grant you anything, mortal? Well, maybe I can convince you. I seek a boon. What? No? All right. Our will to live is strong, is it not? Never mind. I will reach out to you. The Lord of the Dead. Oh no, the Vulcan neck pinch. Instantly, with a numbing cold and blackness. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting death screen there. All right, well, let's go back and take a look at what we have here. We could read him a story. We could paint him something, a gift. Just try to kill him. Just straight up stab him. <laughs> stinky flower. Maybe he likes the stinky. Um, The gauntlet is an interesting choice. But only because I've seen the movie Robin Hood Men in Tights. I request an audience, good sirs. Why? If you've seen that movie, <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you appreciate Mo Brooks, you know where I'm going with this. That instead of a glove, this is just a heavy duty way of offering a challenge. I did not come here to die, but to demand my right of challenge. I respectfully challenge thee. I'm yeah. dropping the By gauntlet. down this gauntlet, man may pass the portal and seek its master, death. Man may pass where death has trod and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. He has the gauntlet. Impossible. Impossible. No, I mean, it was only a couple screens away, guys. Death. Who are you to challenge death? A man of flesh is all I need to be, my lord. And what is it that you seek with this challenge? The soul of some dead maiden? I seek the souls of King Caliphim and Queen Alaria, the land of the Green Isles. You would save two human souls? And emerge alive from this realm yourself? That shall be a difficult challenge indeed. The tomb does not open its doors lightly. Either all three of us leave, or none go. Very well. Then let me think of an appropriate task. As long as it's not long division. Ah, yes. Yeah. I have it now. Your challenge is this. For thousands of years, I have sat upon this throne. I have heard every sad tale that can be told by human lips. I have seen tragedies that ended empires, injustices that defy reason, 
love that would light the very stars turn cold and hard. I have seen torments that cannot possibly be born, and yet must be for centuries. This thing I have never done. I have never shed a tear. Make me cry, thou man of flesh. That is my challenge. Make death cry? Sooner could he turn sea to stone, or fire to ice. Make death cry is the challenge we have before us. Unfortunately, we don't have a spell for that. And also, unfortunately, we don't have any onions. That would make things a lot easier. But as much as he's heard everybody else's story, how often has he truly reflected on himself? If your existence has been all that you say it has, then truth alone shall be my sword. The mirror's surface swirls with darkness for a moment, then fills with images even blacker. Reflections of despair, of wailing souls, of shackles colder and more immutable than any forged by man, of a world of thirsts that can never be quenched. Alexander feels the mirror tremble in his grasp and is glad that he cannot see its face. But the Lord of the Dead is transfixed to the mirror, to the screening of his life. Things long forgotten are once more uncovered. His enslavement to this throne while still a man. The years of watching misery and horror and growing ever more numb to it. The seep of his own humanity. The slow growth of a new thing altogether which became that which he is now. His is an existence that has no possibility of redemption, no end. The surrounding spirits draw away in pain. The truth is so sharp it stabs, so intense it sears. Oh. Take it away. Make it stop. single tear cracks from the strain and death sheds a single gray tear truth is indeed a terrible thing i have worn this mantle for so long i had forgotten its dreadful weight you shall take the souls and leave as i agreed you have been granted to stay from this inevitable reality I almost envy you. Find the souls he has claimed and bring them to me. It's a pretty King freaking Calvin epic tale we have going on here. Alaria I'm digging it. Resume. Your hero has won you a few more years of mortality. May your souls be more prepared for their rest when you return. Thank you, my lord. I hope that they will. And you, man of flesh. My steed shall take the three of you back to the land of the living. Tell her where it is you wish to go. All aboard Nightmare. She flies like a dream. Until we meet again, then. I assure you, we will meet again. Mm. No offense, my lord, but I hope that will be many long years from now. It is never as long as you might wish, mortal. Now, be gone. Yes, my lord. Yeah, I think this section is uh, the most like, high fantasy quality content from the King's Quest series and absolutely love it. <laughs> ah, I love this game. Are you coming, Majesty? El Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. Watch over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. 
We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from us. I will keep her safe until your return. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. Indeed. May we succeed in what awaits us and live long together as a family. Wow, that's promising. And I'm glad the king's feeling a whole lot better. He's a, he's a chatty Cathy now. Let's see, we'll bust out another save. There we go. Yeah. Survive death. Well, you know, for being the well-beloved king and queen of this land, they certainly don't want to start going around throwing their weight around, but uh, they're going to gather allies. I'll take that. See what I can do in the meantime. And of course, lamps for sale. Yes, because we used our spell. And I gotta double check what other spell we have. I know it's the paint one. One cup of swamp ooze. River sticks water. And black horse feather. Okay, yeah, Alexander. I believe we got all that. I was just, I was just really thinking about. It. I was like, did I get the swamp booze? Did I keep the swamp booze? I believe it's all in here. Let's see. The little china teacup is made of fine porcelain. The teacup contains swamp booze and water from the river Styx. Yes. Okay. So we are good. Uh, yes. And now the lamp. Now, if you remember, we saw a cutscene. Old lamps for new. With uh, Shamir's. Lamp. I believe I remember it. It was kind of like a Excuse me, peddler, tall but blue I have one. An old lamp that might interest you. Ah, an old lamp, and what a nice traditional design too. Take your pick of my new lamps. What you got there? Yes, this is the one I saw. Ah, a fine choice, my son. Here is your new lamp. Good day, and I thank you, sir. Good day. There he goes, shuffling away, hoping he has a genie in that lamp. Sorry, bud. It was just previously full of baby tears. All right, and let's see if Jalo's around. Let him know that things are going down. Hello, I will be- He's not here. That's fine, that's fine. I think he no. knows. Let him know that Operation Thunderbird is a go. All right. We'll go to the castle ourselves. We'll count. On that Jalo is inside, he'll be our inside man. Now, of course, these guys, they still don't like me. Hopefully, they don't mind me just uh, wandering by a bit. I'm not going inside, just, you know, just, just appreciating the architecture. And we'll chill here. All right. I need to take a closer look at the, the magic spell book here. Read the directions. Add sticks water to swamp ooze in cup. Check. Stir with horse feather. Apply to blank surface with artist's brush. Speak incantation over painting to materialize. All right. So first step is to stir it up. Alexander dips the large black feather into the teacup and stirs the contents gently. Ah, oh, it takes the color of the feather. That's a neat touch. To his amazement, the jet black color of the feather slowly drains from end to tip into the teacup. The teacup mixture blackens and thickens to a paint-like consistency. 
Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. And we already have our paintbrush. Things are working out. To paint something, Alexander must first choose a location where he wants to paint. The paint can then be used on that location. Okay, how about right here? Feeling artistically inspired, Alexander decides to make use of the large blank castle wall. Gonna paint a mural. Gonna do our best Michelangelo. Way. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. Or that, you know, we'll, we'll keep it simple. We're a geometric artist, really. And now I believe we can cast our spell. Cast. With trepidation, Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. Magic paint, black as ink, bring to life what I think. Make it real what I draw according to this spoken law. The spell worked. The door has magically solidified. Well, let's go inside and see where it takes the us. Castle at last, Alexander opens the enchanted door and steps inside. Don't mind me. Tee hee hee. Door fades back into the wall. So much for an easy exit. All right. So now we don't have an exit. And we are deep in the bowels of the castle. The ceilings in the castle are vaulted and formal, giving the halls a lofty elegance. The castle basement is cool after the heat of the day. The arched domed ceilings add to the sense of spaciousness in the wide corridors. On the east wall are three dungeon doors. This is the west basement hallway. There's a strange door on the west wall. There doesn't appear to be any handle or keyhole on the door. All right. So I don't think we need to go to the dungeons. Instead, we'll be looking for our inside man. That'll be the first step to Operation Thunderbird. The castle basement is cool after the heat of the day. On the east wall is a door. And on the west wall, a staircase leads upward. This is the east basement. There's a door on the east wall. All right, well, doesn't seem to be a dungeon door. Let's check it out. Alexander decides to find out what's on the other side of that door. I should have saved. I just realized that. Oh, oh we got lucky. Jalo. What's going on, brother? Prince Alexander, I can't believe it. How did you get into the castle? Well, I... Actually, it's a little hard to explain. I bet. <laughs> you run the terrible risk of being here, though. The castle is crawling with guard dogs, especially today. The wazir will have your hide if he finds you. I know that, Jallo. But Kasima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? Of course you're right. Young love. <laughs> I forgot what heartburn it is. But what are you supposed to do about it? I've got to try to see her. Maybe even stop the wedding. Is that all? And here I thought you would try something dangerous. <sighs> Don't worry about me, friend. Just tell me, where is Kasima? As far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You'd never make it up there, though. The god dogs are everywhere, and they're very loyal to the crown. Unfortunately, right now the crown means El Hazred. If we had proof of something truly a foul, the guard dogs might listen. As it is, they're your enemies, not his. I understand. I've had no lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, you'd almost think I wasn't welcome. <laughs> and they say princes have no sense of humor. <laughs> well, I can see there's no putting you off. For Kasima's sake, I wish you luck. I'll be here if there's anything you need. Thanks, Jalo. So we need proof that something foul is afoot. Well, I have her supposedly dead parents, who in fact were dead. I brought them back to life. And uh, they can tell you what's what, honestly. 
a plain trunk provides minimal storage for the bedroom. The comfortable looking bed in the corner is neatly arranged. It looks just large enough for Jallo's generous size. A chandelier hangs down from the tall ceiling. How on earth does Jallo reach that thing to light it? The wall above Jallo's desk sports a notice of a circus. It seems very old. A cozy little fire is ablaze in Jallo's fireplace. A large red rug with gold trim helps buffer the coldness of the marble floor underfoot. All right, we'll do a save. Replace the oldest one. Of course, I've already been saying it. You know it. Operation Thunderbird is go. But first, take a nap. This is not the time for napping. Okay. Then how about we pull some Legend of Zelda? I'm Link. I'm going to rummage through your Alexander stuff. Alexander doesn't want to intrude on Jallo's privacy by looking through his trunk. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so what can Jallo help us with? Well, we did just get the lamp, and we do know we want to replace um, the genie's lamp. I've been thinking of what you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Do you think it will pass? Why, yes! It's an exact replica! That's amazing! How did you guess? I suppose it was intuition. <laughs> I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you. But I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And none shall be the wiser. Now you shall see Jallo's skill. I'm sure your hands are mightier than my sword, my clever friend. <laughs> Go ahead and do as you've planned, and let me worry about swapping the lamp. If I accomplish the trickery, I'll manage to get the lamp to you somehow. You never fear. I have faith, Jolo. You are a true friend. Oh shucks. I'd do anything for the princess. Look upon our majesty. We are Prince Alexander. We brought a dead king and queen back to life by adventuring to the underworld and uh, fooling the satanic overruler himself. But right now we're depending on Jallo. That's what we're doing. Good old Jallo. So I remember I... Uh, there's a secret entrance around here, but I forget how to do it. Luckily, I do remember that someone will be able to help us in one of these doors. Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. No, not this one. <laughs> just, just step right out. That's, that's not the right cell door. No, no. Uh, how about this one? Alexander opens the dungeon. Here we are. Mother? Mother, where are you? A spirit asking for his mother, could it be? A spirit weeps inconsolably on the cot. The spirit appears to be the ghost of a little boy. What's the matter, little boy? She would just leave me here. I've been alone ever so long. Mother? Mother, where are you? Don't worry, little lad. We just recently ran into your mother. And she gave us... What? Oh, she gave us the handkerchief. That's right. <laughs> Here you, you go. Must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. It's Mama's. It even smells like her. I can feel her now. I know where to go. Wait. Before you go, 
Is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I like to play in secret places. In the basement behind the Man of Steel is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Farewell. Alright, okay, so... Hello, spider. A brown spider peers down at the man in the cell with little interest. I didn't see any golden eyes, so I think we're good. Alright, so... The suits of armors hold the secret here. I'm gonna give it a quick save, replace that one. There we go. Let's check out this guy. In the corner is a suit of armor of ancient design. Its right arm beckons slightly. Alexander examines the suit of armor, but sees nothing special. The right. Remembering what the little there we go. Okay. Said, Alexander experiments with the suit of armor. He pushes down, then pulls up on the knight's right arm. See, so just clicking on him is not enough. That's why you got to know, like, oh, they're really pointing out his right arm. Always got to catch the little details with Sierra. Voices coming from nearby. Voices from nearby, huh? Maybe beyond this wall? Alexander peers through the chink in the wall. Yoo-hoo! I've been hearing rumors from the guards who've been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on her door and begging to be let out. Ain't none of my business, sir, but news like that is upsetting the other dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. <sighs> Hazred claims that a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Call me an old dog that can't learn new tricks, but I say the princess should be the one given the orders. Alhazred has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Kasima's mourning. Tonight, the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our liege. Need I remind you of your oath to the crown? Aye, we've an oath. For the sake of the princess, we'll not be forgetting it. He'd just better treat her well. Speaking of the wazir, what do you reckon he's keeping in that magical room of his? It's not a magic room. It's just the door he's enchanted somehow. I say he's still got the royal treasury in there, along with whatever else he's so eager to protect. Not even the court treasurer is allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. He was speaking of that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say, Ali, but then Bay came up and started yapping at me. Enough! It is not our place to question the practices of our liege, no matter how strange. The wedding will be starting soon. Report to the throne room when you hear the music start. He was speaking to that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say, Ali, but then Bay came up and started yapping at me. I like how they put that in text, so they really point it out. Ali. Ali's the important thing to learn here. There's an enchanted door, and Ali is the first part of the password. Alexander is standing in a secret passage of the Castle of the Crown. The landing is dusty, and the walls are deteriorating. To the south is the door to the basement. A staircase to the north leads up to another floor. Give another quick save. And we will go up. If Alexander would like to. <laughs> That'd be the key component. Take it one floor at a time. Phew, that was a climb. Alexander hears the faint sound of a woman crying nearby. A faint woman crying nearby. Possibly to the room next to us? Could it be? Could it be Princess Cosima? Well, I guess we'll find out. 
in the next episode of King's Quest 6, and I'm thinking it'll be the last one. We'll wrap up this game in the next episode. I'm looking forward to it. I really enjoyed this Let's Play. I hope all of you have too, friends. And I hope you'll watch the ending with me. We'll have an experience together. It'll be a grand old time. So I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>